Hi, I'm Kate Garland with the University of Maine Cooperative Extension and I'm here to show you how to grow microgreens indoors. Microgreens are the leafy portion of certain types of herbs, vegetables, and flowers that are harvested at a very early stage of growth. They come up in a wide variety of flavors and are not only great for salads and garnishes but also great for sandwiches and stir fries, soups, and a wide variety of dishes. They are quick and easy to grow indoors with only a few low-cost supplies. The materials that you need are a clean, shallow tray with drain holes, potting mix, seeds, and I'll talk more about what types of seeds in a bit, water, a sunny window, or preferably a grow light. So many household items make really great trays. Aluminum pans, plastic containers for salad greens or berries are good examples. The only requirement is that they need to have drain holes and that they're clean. I use a, a hammer and nail to make holes in the plastic containers. Um, and I usually do that on top of a scrap piece of lumber. Um, aluminum containers can easily be punched with any pointed object with pretty li little force. Once you get those set um, with the drain holes, you'll want to loosely fill the tray with pre-moistened potting mix. Um, and it should be pretty full, um, almost all the way to the top, if not right at flush with the top. If you tap the tray um, on, on the surface, it should settle down a little bit. And then um, you'll just follow the sowing instructions for the specific seeds that you're going to be growing. For most microgreens and shoot crops, the seeds are sown on the surface and gently tamped down to ensure good contact with the potting mix. Some seeds benefit from topping with a light layer of potting mix, mostly the larger seed types. Um, the seeds don't need to be evenly spaced, which is helpful when you have little helpers. You don't have to worry about you know, making sure they're, they're perfectly spaced apart. Um, when I think there might be seeds clumped in one area, I simply rake my fingers across the top to help spread the seed around. Then you want to go ahead and gently water in the seeds and cover the tray with a plastic uh, piece of plastic to keep the moisture in. And I usually move that tray into a warm location that's about 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, most seeds do not need sunlight before they germinate, so you don't have to worry about putting them right under a grow light or in a sunny window at that point. Um, and I find that the top of the refrigerator is typically a warmer spot in most households. You'll want to check it daily and move it to a sunny window or grow light as soon as the seeds germinate. Um, and put a reminder in your calendar because you'll be surprised at how quickly some crops show signs of life. So um, they germinate pretty fast. You'll, want, um, you'll have much better results by moving them under a grow light that's set about 2 to 4 inches above the seedling. But a sunny self-facing window can probably get you by because it's a pretty short crop um, as far as how long you actually need to grow it indoors. Um, most microgreens are ready to harvest when one or two sets of true leaves have developed. Some seeds are ready to harvest when the cotyledons, which are the seed leaves, have fully developed. It just depends on the crop that you're growing. You know, once it's ready to harvest, you'll harvest it with a clean pair of scissors by cutting the seedlings at the soil line, rinsing them, and enjoying. A few of our favorite microgreens um, include sunflower, which has a great crunch and a, a slightly nutty flavor. Popcorn is a really fun one. It has a mild flavor with a sweet aftertaste. I always love field peas, um, which is a similar flavor to fresh peas. Red amaranth has a, a mild flavor but is really beautiful. It's a nice red color. Mustard um, uh, is a sharp, spicy flavor. Mizuna has a mild version of mustard. And of course, basil and dill. Um, the microgreens of those ones have their similar flavor along with um, cilantro, beet, um, scallion, and lemon balm. All those traditional flavors that you would expect out of the mature plant um, come right out in the, the young microgreen versions. Um, many seed companies offer detailed descriptions of different types of microgreens and crop specific growing information online. So I hope you have a, a good time trying this out and um, I hope you try to share some photos and tales of your gardening adventures on our social media page um, and be sure to use the hashtag growing main gardeners. For more gardening tips and to learn more about 4-H visit our websites extension.umaine.edu forward slash gardening or extension.umaine.edu forward slash 4-H. Have fun!